creating files and uploading files via the table of contents also produces associated files that are housed in the manage files area to get to the manage files click edit course and then manage files it is possible to organize the files in the manage files area to create a new folder click new folder and type its name. Click Save. To move a file, check it, click Cut, click the context menu, and click Paste here. The file is now added to that folder. To navigate up, click the top level navigation. To delete a file, check it and click the delete and confirm. Notice that some items in the associated files have an icon next to it that looks like a chain link. That's indicating that those files are associated with content back in the table of contents. It is possible to organize your associated files in the Manage Files area, as I've shown, but it's also possible to upload those associated files directly into the Manage Files area at the time that you are creating a file or uploading a file. This icon next to this topic is indicating a broken link that was caused when I deleted its associated file from the Manage Files area. I'm going to go ahead and delete this topic and show you another way to add this topic back into the course. When uploading a file, a best practice is to rename that file before uploading into the course to a name that you would want your students to see in the course as they navigate. Then, upload a file. But before clicking Add, you have the opportunity to choose the destination. Not the destination necessarily where students will see it, but the destination in the Manage Files area, in the Associated Files area of the course. Click Choose Destination and locate the module folder created in the Manage Files area. select path. Notice how this changes the path and then click add. This topic is now added. Going back to the Manage Files area, we can see that because I changed its path at the time that it was uploaded, it's now located here as an associated file.